Hello, I'm Gabby Ackerman. I am the Business Development Director of Women in Payments, and I am delighted today to be chatting to um, Monique Kodjo. She's the Managing Director of Global Payments Solutions in Europe. She's also the Head of Business Development and the Chief Control Officer at HSBC, and she's based in London. Welcome, Monique. Perhaps you could start off with a couple of words of introduction. Sure. Thank you, Gabby. It's a pleasure to be here and, and really an honor to be talking to women in payments today. So as you referenced, um, I manage our business management, revenue management, and chief control office teams for our European payments business here at HSBC. Um, based in the London in the UK now. However, I've worked out of New York at HSBC for quite a number of years as well. For those in our audience who may be new to My Career in Six, we will start with some rapid fire questions. Just looking for one word answers, followed by some more detailed questions. Are you ready, Monique? Let's go. I'm ready, Gabby. Let's do it. Great. Who or what inspires you? My daughter. Do you attribute your success to luck or hard work? Hard work, for sure. What drives you? What drives me is the impact of the outcomes that I'm pursuing. I like to put myself in fast-paced roles um, as a result of that. Your favorite quote or motto you live by? My favorite quote is, when they go low, you go high, by Michelle Obama. Amazing. When applying for a new opportunity, what percentage of required attributes you feel you need to have in order to be confident in your application? I would say maybe 60, 65%. Coolest payments company today? Wow, there's there's so many. Um, for me, the ones that I, I really like are the ones that have or are continuing to build some ESG component mm -hmm. to their payment platforms. Yeah, ESG is so important today. Thank you, Monique. Uh, now that we know a bit more about you, let's move on to the more in-depth questions about your journey. What has been your biggest challenge as you climbed the ladder in the payments industry? I'd say the biggest challenge for me was sort of balancing my career ambitions whilst being the primary caretaker for my father. Taking care of him also meant that I couldn't be as globally mobile um, in pursuing my career, which often, you know, can help you to sort of climb the ladder more quickly. Um, eventually, I was able to find a global role, however, that gave me that broader experience while still being um, based close to my to my parents. And so that allowed me the ability to get that international experience um, while also embracing my family commitments. What do you feel has been your greatest accomplishment in your career? I would say that would be given the opportunity to step up from deputy to chief control officer back in December 2020. I really poured myself into that new role and that new opportunity um, and really tried to demonstrate as well my impact that I was making to the business. And it was also around that time that I found out I was pregnant with my daughter, Mackenzie. The business was aware, um, but they nominated me and they supported me through the managing director promotion process. And I even remember like, so even during like my third trimester, I was still doing interviews and um, even when Mackenzie was here as well, there were still aspects of it that I needed to sort of complete, um, but had complete support um, from my management, from the leadership team. And it was something that I was really, really proud of being able to achieve whilst being at such a critical family moment for myself as well. If there's one thing you could have done differently, what would that have been? I'm not sure I would have done anything differently. I don't have any regrets and I believe all of everything I've done has helped to shape me into what I've become. How important have your networks and connections been in assisting your career in the payments landscape? Uh, extremely important. I've worked for HSBC now for 20 years and my networks and my relationships have played a critical role and helping me to navigate such a large organization. And they've also helped me to sort of shape my leadership style um, and move up through the organization as well. So, and that's across geographies and business areas, a really strong network and, and cast of a personal board of directors is, is key. As a senior female leader, how have you helped shape the culture of your current business? So I'm accountable for the people agenda in my business and it's, it's always been a pleasure um, for me because I'm so passionate and active around the diversity, equity, and inclusion 
agenda within the bank um, and also a member of various employee resource groups. So my focus is to ensure that the circa 600 people within my business and across our 18 markets in Europe are clear on our strategic goals, that they're also able to pivot their efforts towards them so that they feel engaged. We have a clear roadmap of talent and development programs as well. And that also helps people to feel invested in, that also helps to drive retention. And then always we're ensuring that diversity, equity and inclusion are at the forefront of everyone's mind so that we can drive better outcomes for our teams and ensure that our business is a top employee choice um, in terms of where they want to work. What advice would you give aspiring women professionals in this industry? So I would say just not to let anyone tell you that you can't have it all. You can, perhaps maybe not all at the same time or with the same intensity um, or even without the support um, or needing to outsource certain responsibilities, right? But whatever all is for you, um, an amazing career, starting a business, love, your family, you just need to set your priorities, establish boundaries, have a great support system and just be flexible on the timeline and the sequence. And also just be understanding and, and accept within yourself that sometimes you'll have to sacrifice certain things. Um, but lastly, I think it's also about sort of manifesting and being positive that you deserve all the blessings and in time, all can happen for you. On that very inspiring note, thank you very much, Monique, for sharing your career journey with us. Thank you all for listening. And I encourage you to join us online for the many more episodes of My Career in Six, where we chat with inspirational leaders from around the world of payments. Mm -hmm.